Hello there, and welcome back to my blind LP of Internal Darkness, the Sanity's Requiem on the Nintendo GameCube. This is part two, and in this part I am travelling to 26 BC with, uh, I'm playing as Pius Augustus. So, um, let's jump into that, shall we? Here we go. The darkness comes. That guy's got two sets of ribs or something. That's weird. Right, here we go. Around this dude here. So, examine. Hold on. Hold this. A shaft descends towards the next lower level. A ladder is situated situated on one side of the shaft. Right. Someone's uh, shouting, Hey! In the background, let me. Oh, hey, this is not... This one's not lit. Well, I can stab it. I keep forgetting... That is some um, B to examine. I keep pressing A, so I keep st I'm gonna keep punching and stabbing stuff if I'm not careful. Right. I've got anything to say about this weird thing that warps me in? It, he does. Um, the di dice on the floor is finely crafted, in inlaid with gold and gems that Pius can't ad can't identify. A strong linear design is situated in the middle and is equally unknown to the Roman soldier. Right, so we obviously want to go down here. Here we go, detail. A ladder leads into the dank heart of the labyrinth. Danger lurks beneath, yet pious, courageous, courageous uh, resolve does not buckle. Should pious climb down the ladder? Sure, go on then. Right. Okay. Now these are going to wake up at one point, aren't they? Examine. Oh, get a nice little close up on there. Oh. Yeah, I thought as much. Well, only him, only he's woken up, and he's just slowly shuffling towards me. So you have to press, you have to arm your weapon. Oh, you can actually aim body parts like this. That's nice. Right, let's get his head. Okay, stab his head off. <laughs> Look at him, he's trying to grab his head. Oh, now he's just standing there. There we go. That was... Interesting. Hold on. Finish him. No. Oh. No, oh, now he's disappearing. Well, that's quite an interesting combat mechanic. I quite like that. Oh. Something just sparked at me then. Right. Hmm. Oh. Bloody hell. They didn't see you there, guys. Hold on. No. Lob their heads off. Then, do they grow back their heads? You know, they just flail around. Okay, so they still flail around trying to attack you. They just can't see where you're at. So you can, like... So you can, like, take them from behind and stuff. And apparently you have to finish your enemies just like Silent Hill does. So far, pretty nice combat, actually. Right, examine this. Detail. A strange granite block lies on the floor. Uh, Pius has picked up a granite granite block. Right. Okay. So open the door. Okay. Oh, more of these things. Go on, knob his head off. There you go, knob his head off. Wonder if I can get his arms. Yep, you can. <laughs> I love, I love this, I love this, this is brilliant. Oh, I'm not, I'm not even hitting him, hold on. God, let me finish this guy before he gets back up. Nope, let's go through the door instead. Okay. Okay, so the enemy's still like, he's still got his head off, so they don't respawn if you don't finish them like they do in Silent Hill. Let's get his other arm. It's actually quite hard to aim this, you've got to be really close. Right. No, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to get his arm. Oh, he, oh, he got me. Cheeky. Oh, hold on. Health meter. This meter represents life energy. Every time a character t 
takes damage, the level will get lower. When it reaches zero, the character will die. And it's game over. Let's examine this, shall we? This is a sharp-edged block of granite, etched on one side with a curious line design coloured blood red. Right. Check my gladius. Oh, that's the same thing we saw in the um, office, wasn't it? This is a gladius, a sh the standard weapon of the Roman army. Short, double-edged sword with a sharp, triangular point. The uh, gladius. Is it gladius or gladius? Was designed primarily for hacking and chopping at the enemy, but could be used to pierce armor as well. Right. Right, I've got to finish him then. Finish him. There we go. Okay, there's another one here. It's a green one though. A strange granite block rests on the platform. Pick it up. Yep. <coughs> Excuse me. Still recovering from this cold. I've had it for ages now. Right, nothing else to. He's got nothing else to. No, nothing else of interest in here. Oh, hello. Lob his head off. Lob his head off. There we go. Lob his head off. Let's lob his arms off. Let's lob his head off. I love this combat. That you can select body parts. Oh. It's not actually it's not actually that bad to control. If I'm honest. Sometimes getting the arms is a bit tricky. Ooh. Ooh, got a nice camera shot there. Right, he's still here. Bless him. Kind of feel sorry doing this. There we go. Oh, hello. Loads of them here. There we go. This is very satisfying. I'm not scared, though, which is uh, a problem, being a horror game and all. A uh, strange granite block lies on the floor. Right, we've got three of them now. We've got a blue one now. Um... Anything else in this room? It doesn't look like it. There's a ladder here, so let's go down here then. Ooh, misty floor. Oh, bloody that that gets me when the when the torches spark at me. There we go. That is really satisfying. It really is. Okay. So gated door there. Let's go through this door, obviously. It's the only way to go. So this was originally supposed to be on the Nintendo, uh, the Nintendo 64. Oh, there's, there's the signs that we saw on the, um, on the, uh, oh, there's another one. We haven't seen the purple one yet. Oh, there's the purple one right in the middle. That's okay, then. Let's get rid of these guys. There we go. I kind of like that they've given you simple enemies to deal with here. Oh. It's kind of... Oh. I don't know what the button is to lock off... Oh, oh yeah, they can hit each other, can't they? No. Get his arm. Get his arm before he gets me. There we go. So there's enemy damage. This is so far really, really well built. <sighs> really, really interesting. Really, really, really interesting game. Um, I don't know why there's like wallpaper under here, though. Do the Romans have wallpaper? That's a question I never thought I'd, I'd ask. Also, I mean, is did the Romans build this? Uh, a strange granite block rests in the middle of the... Is that... Dias? Dias? Diz? Di, dies? Oh, this is the worst game for, for dyslexic people. Pius picked up a granite block. Okay, we've got... Four of them then, and there was four places to place them here. Here we go. Examine. <coughs> Excuse me. This wall is promed prom oh. prominently decorated with a strange line symbol carved in the into the granite. Cut into the wall is a square hole lined with scratches as though something has been removed from it. Right, it's gonna say that about everyone. So I need to go in here. Use. Yeah, there we go. Not really much of a puzzle. Oh, it starts glowing now. 
The hole is filled with a granite block. It cannot be removed as though it is magically sealed into place. Ooh, they've used... They spelt magic with a K there. You know they're serious when they do that. What colour was that again? Green. Right, use that. Alright. So this is obviously going to open up like a... That, that's going to open up... Was it? Oh, I've done it wrong. Oh, okay. If you do it wrong, you get a zomble. Um, would be nice if I could, like... There we go. It's like... It's like, are you seriously? You got the colour wrong. Here, have a zombie. Don't I feel stupid now? But it's good to know that's what happens. There we go. There we go. Right, and then the blue one. Stick that in. Right. Okay, that door there. There we go. I thought that would be the case. Alright, so let's get back out there. Here we go. What's through here? What the bloody hell's that? That, that actually startled me slightly there. Just a creepy statue staring at me. Alright, mate. Okay. Just see if there's anything around. Right. Pius, you must prove your worth by destroying the statue. Pressing R will enable, enable Pius to select which target to attack. Then releasing R slight. Oh no. Then releasing R slightly and then pressing it again will cycle between multiple targets. Okay. Pius can attack specific body parts while locked onto an enemy by moving the, the analog stick and pressing A. Use up to attack the head and left and right to attack the arms. I kind of know that. Hold on. There we go. It's weird that they teach you how to fight now and not while there were zombies about. Bit weird. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, that's glow in here. Oh, bloody. Ugh. Right, let's get these all... Oh, that one's bigger, that guy, that guy there. Look. It's like it's like him and his li and his two kids or something. Right, get out of the way. Let's get rid of these guys. All these heads. There we go. What? Ooh. Oh, right, that's why. It's because he's attacking him. Let's get rid of these. There we go. Arm, arm, dead. Finish those. Lovely jubbly. Right, so... Anything to say about this area? The descriptions have kind of gone stops now, haven't they? Oh, what's that? That was just fire. Well, right. Examine. Detail. A button is attached to a small pylon softly softly illuminates the room. A bizarre energy seems to radiate from it. Should Pius push the button? Go on then. Oh. Maybe we shouldn't have done that. Right, this obviously made this into a teleporter. Right. Where is this then? What's this about? You've got green, red, and blue. Examine. Detail. A strange sculpture resembling a red clawed worm mysteriously floats above the pedestal. Should Pius claim this artifact? Uh. No. Uh, the blue one. Detail. A shaped like a delicate dome, a pale blue statuette floats gracefully above the pedestal. Should Pius claim this artifact? No. Let's check the green one first. We get, I think we only get to get keep one, maybe. I don't know. Detail. A effigy resembling a warped angel shaped from the dark green emerald hovers effortlessly above the pedestal. 
Should Pius take the artifact? This artifact. Yeah, I like the green one the most. That looks the nicest. We'll take the green. Yeah, we'll take green. have passed since then, and I have learned much. I was once as naive as a child, but now my mind is sharp. With the power of Zalatath, I can now read the thoughts of others and make them raving mad with a mere suggestion. Face me, and you shall surely perish. Alex has acquired the Tome of Internal Darkness. Right. Okay, well then. Um, how long are we recording for? 16 minutes. But it did say chapter complete, so... I don't know if I want to call this part 2 and do it... I guess there's chapters or something. Right, maybe this is... Actually, I'll, I'll, I'll play through this part, actually, through Alex's little thing. Might as well. Uh, this is glowing still. Strangely, with the Tome of Eternal Darkness in your in her possession, Alex can read the page. It is a chapter page from the Tome itself. Should Alex take the chapter page? No, not just yet. Let me just um look at this so I can pick this knife up, actually. Um, detail. The ancient weapon Gladius on is on display above the fireplace mantle. Another token of it. No, she's saying the same stuff. Okay. Let's go and pick up this chapter thing here. Uh, yeah. Alex has found a chapter page entitled The Binding of the Corpse God. Right. Okay. I guess we need to read that then. I think. Oh, we can still leave the door. Um. Right, well. Let me just double check if I can read it. Let me just check this. It appears to be a page from this. This appears to be a page from the Tome of the Eternal Darkness. It's entitled The Binding of the Corpse God. Use this item to read the chapter. Right. Let me just check all this real quick. Tome of Eternal Darkness. Check. Uh, this is the Tome of Eternal Darkness where the experienced spells and enchanted items can be stored for future use. It has been made from fragments of human skin and bone and endowed. With magical powers. Ooh. And we got a key to the second floor. Where did we get that? Hold on, whoops. I meant to read that. This is a key to the second floor of the Rovus, Rovus Mansion. It looks very old and worn. Right. Well, let's go to the second floor first. And then I'll do the second floor. Then I'll then I'll save it. And then in the next part I can read. I'll read the uh, chapter. Because I think if I read that, it'll jump into like another level like the Augustus thing perhaps maybe I assume it does the door is locked eh, let's punch it open eh eh god it's gonna hurt your knuckles love right let's use this the key comes apart in the locked the key to the second floor is broken perhaps there is a way of repairing it Alex has picked up the broken second floor key oh Oh, well, that's great then, isn't it? Right, well, there we go. That was part two. Yeah, I'm going to save here. Uh, no, not audio. Save. There we go. It's very sensitive, that. I'm going to save there because um, I think if I read that, it's going to start a new, a new, like, chapter. You know, a new level away from the mansion, perhaps, I think. Well, that's my, that's my educated guess on the matter. So I'll save here. There we go, accessing. Um, Alex Voivus, 2000 AD. 
Um, I hope you've enjoyed the episode and my bumbling about and my terrible commentary. Take care, uh, have a lovely day, and bye for now.